So, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are trying to build a sawmill shed. We're gonna use these beams from an old mezzanine that we took down at the factory. We needed some long timbers, so we cut down a spruce tree and we're attempting to get two 22 foot timbers out of that spruce tree so we can build a shed that's about 20 by 21, somewhere in there, but that's the plan. Jonathan's here helping me. My dad's gonna help me. We have a bit of a challenge ahead of us, but uh, what do you think, John boy? I think we can get it done. Yeah, I think we can get it done. We got Baca here to help us. Baca is my dad's name because Jonathan could not say grandpa when he was little. Yeah. Yep. I know that. Yep, so he's been Baca forever, thanks to John boy. Well, let's get at her. Pitter patter. This log here is 22 feet with a taper. And we need to cut this end right here, the, the big end, the bigger diameter, and end up just about the tippy top of this small end. And if we do it wrong down here, it'll definitely come out wrong down here. So everything we do down here has to do with where the center of this beam will be. So that's the plan. All right, so this is what we've done here. We drew out where our cant outline will be. Had to do it twice because we had to make a small adjustment on the log due to where one of the uh, knots were. So this is our top of the cant here. Bottom here. This is the side. This is the other side. So there's 12 inches. We're going to have one foot overhang. So we know coming back 12 inches, it's got a little bit more material. And all we want is just at least a flat spot that'll sit on the I-beam. So what we're gonna do is we're going to attempt to use the string there, put a two by four across, and take the string all the way to the blade to make sure that our blade's gonna come out right here. We can use the jack to adjust the height. Let's see how we do. So we've got our sight level on here. We ran a string from the blade down to the end of where we want the top of our cant. And now we just need to remove the string, remove the screw at the end, and cut. All right, here's the deal, John boy. When we start bringing the sawmill up to this, yeah. this thing here, it's gonna hit this. Do you think I should just take the chainsaw and smooth that off? Yeah.
can't get it up I gotta get the RPMs up on the saw. Keep saying it and I don't do it. That's cool. It's gonna be a pretty beam. Now I wanna rotate it 90 degrees. Take it off. That worked out well. You're clear, Dad. This one comes out in like pockets, Dad. Here's the plan. We now have two sides that are 90 degrees square to each other. This side and this side. It means I no longer have to use the jack and tow board to shim it. So now I just need to get these flat on the log bunks. But here's the problem. Let me turn around and show you. We can't just rotate it. We need to rotate it and shift it down about a foot. So this flat piece will touch this log bunk. We also need to make sure that all the log bunks are clear debris so we know we'll make a perfectly parallel cut. So the next two cuts are easier. It's just a little bit more maneuvering with the tractor. In my haste, try to help twist. I snapped that screw right off. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Get it good and tight on there. Little trick. How about that, John boy? Mm. Good deal.
sticky. All right, we're gonna add some water with Don dish soap into the uh, water tank up here. So hop up there, John boy. This pops right off. Make sure we don't get any dust on anything. Because when you get dust in here, it'll plug up our water. That's good. Yeah, a little more. Perfect, perfect. You wanna fill it up? Yeah, I got a sight glass right here. I'm watching it. So this is our last side of the cant here. And we're not gonna clear it. So what we're gonna do is have Jonathan raise it up about four inches, five inches, and then make a cut. Keep going. Push it all the way down, good. We need to put this over here, okay? Okay, we've been deliberating and we have an idea. So now we have this beam here. This beam is square on four sides, pretty square on four sides. And we have this round section right here, so I'll show you. So we still need to get the last six feet of this to get a total of a 22 foot beam. And our plan, I'll turn you, is we're gonna slide this timber down, put a jack on that end, since we know that this side's gonna be irregular. So the jack will be able to move it. So whatever side this is at, 
we'll use this jack right here. We'll slide it down there. We'll use the Austin's jack to move that end up to make it a level cut. That's the plan anyways. That's probably good, Dad. I like it. You're doing good. Good job, Dad. Tip it down a little more. Okay, you can clear out. It's like, you just need a little bit, yeah. We got it. <laughs> How about that? We're trying to put a jack on this side, but there's no like structure to set the jack on. We had a C-channel that we were going to set on it, but it wouldn't be enough support underneath for the jack. It was too short, right? Well, yeah. So we wouldn't get a longer one. Yeah, and now it's just so it's we got to slide it all the way in from the end. Yeah. Well, right. once, we be, once we get it in there, it won't be that bad. That's right. Why are you doing, man? Double your wages today. Right here? Oh. All right, no bubble. Come on, get in that bubble. It's gonna get us through. Throw it right down onto the ground, buddy. Right. It's getting late. Let's get done. Good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a little bark on the end. What's that, buddy? Can we just rotate it? We can with the log things, but we gotta take the jack down. Do you know how to take the jack down? No. You took your stability away. So you know. That's okay. Just slide it right out of your way. Good job. And that log's going to come down, so make sure nothing's under there for your fingers. Keep coming. Good job. Leave it right there. Now tighten it back up again. Just tighten it? Yep, it. tighten it all the way. Good. Right. Now leave the blue thing right there. You and I can probably turn it. Maybe. What should we turn? Um, I think we should just turn it flat against the uh, log stops. And then be, use the jack one more time, and then we'll be done with the jack. Right. We won't have to think anymore.
good to be done. How's it feel? Good. You cut a 22 foot beam on a sawmill that's only meant to cut 16 and a half foot. Yeah. What do you think, dude? You ready to clean up and go? Yeah. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So this is a 22 foot timber. And you can see we're gonna have some rounded corners in order to get two full timbers out of it. But this is 12 by 12, at least we think it is. I don't know, I didn't measure it. Might be bigger. So this is definitely a, a big beam. So it's a 22 foot timber milled on a 16 and a half foot sawmill. And uh, couldn't have been done without Austin's bottle jack. Kind of pretty. Good job. It's kind of pretty. So we've been cleaning up here around the mill. Uh, when I say we, I mean Austin. He's done a good job. But uh, just to sum up what we've done here, John Bowie's putting the mule away. Let's see if you can see him here. John Bowie's been a beast. He's been really helpful on this. Thank you, Jonathan. I could not have done this without my son. Or I could have, but it would have taken me like four times as long. So he was very helpful. Anyways, this is the uh, beam we made. This is uh, actually a uh, 22 foot. Let me get out here at the end so you can really see it. That's a 22 foot. It's supposed to be 12 by 12. It might be a touch bigger than that. Uh, but this is going to be uh, one of the supports that the uh, rafters will sit on on top of those i-beams for our sawmill shed so it definitely should be long enough to keep the sawmill under cover and that was the goal and um, i want to be able to nail the rafters into this side just need to figure out put my brain to it how i'm going to fasten these to the i-beam thought about running bolts through it uh, through the i-beam might give it a little bit more structure uh, structural strength sorry about that it's been a long couple of days but uh anyways hey thanks for watching and uh you'll see us continue to we need to make another one of these with a even bigger log which i have no idea how we're going to do it yet and then once those two are milled uh, we'll get the structure up and then we need to go start finding some rafters to put up that's the plan anyways so thanks for watching